One of my favorite pastimes is to watch Nikon pretend to be in business and release new cameras for us to boycott immediately because they suck at life. That's what they just did, and I'm proud of them. Let's talk about it. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So we're on the Olympus EM13, the only Micro Four Thirds camera worth getting out of bed for. Leica 15mm Tony 1.7. Tiny little guy. Couldn't even find it. It was so small. Black diffusion KNF filter to ease the sharpness of the digital variety. So the Nikon ZFC, standing for Zora's Fun Cam. That sounds sexual. I'd watch it. Could I run my whole show on it and it would be an upgrade to everything you're seeing? Probably. It, it's okay, it's kinda cool. Like, I don't give a shit about aesthetics, really. The G9 was the best looking camera I ever had. Gave me the most disappointment I've ever even come close to giving a woman in bed, footage-wise. I don't know why so many people are like, oh, they're coming after Fuji, it's the Fuji killer. Because they got top dials? Like, who gives a shit? This is the worst feature of the Fuji system, having these stupid dials. It's so annoying when you're filming yourself, you can't see anything, you have to get up. That's a hip injury waiting to happen. Then, oh, custom. And then Fuji makes some weird decisions. I like that Nikon at least let us override it with the passum dial. You can switch to aperture priority, I think. Those just shut off the stupid dials that they added. Hopefully that's the case. They got a movie switch just like the Fuji. Although, this is the worst placement ever. Try to hit that, you'll never do it unless you stick a nail in there. There's a chip. Just chipped a nail. I'll be back. Gotta get that polished. I didn't leave. Nor did Olympus Autofocus. I like that they finally woke up from their beauty sleep and gave us a fully articulating screen so we can actually use the camera, doing the important things like talk to yourself while nobody listens. I like it. It's a good camera, but let's be real here. It's the Z50. They changed nothing. Spec-wise, put them side by side. It's like, okay, finally we got Nothing. You have nothing. You can see yourself now because the down flipper would have ruined your life with a tripod. If I'm vlogging, technically I don't need a flippy screen. If the autofocus is good, and the Z50 was, I don't need to see it. Oh, like, why would you even look? You're in focus, just assume you are. Look at the lens. Your audience might appreciate it. But other than that, like, what's new? Did they have a meeting about how boring they were? All right, fellas, Nikon, huh? We're back. Let's release something just fantastic. The Z50, that basically blew the world away. So many people bought that, changed their lives. I know people, changed their life. Do you have any ideas for something better than that? I know, it sounds impossible. How could you be better than that? You couldn't, but could we? I'm with you, boss, we have so many ideas now. While we don't actually have the technology to improve our image quality or performance, I do have some spec-wise changes we can make in the body. Dials on top, a oh, little, little more tactile feel. Oh, there's the shot. Oh, let me just, you know what I mean? And retro look, maybe? Go back to what we used to know. We don't have new ideas. But we had good ideas back then, didn't we? Let's just go back in time. Can we get away with that? Like not updating any features whatsoever, just change the body on the outside? Like a shell? It's a shell upgrade? I'm with you. Silver? Can we make a pink one for my wife so she won't sleep with so many other men? Oh, we can, boss, and we will. Remember when Paris Hilton used to carry a little chihuahua with her? As an accessory, a fashion accessory it was. What if Nikon cameras could be that new accessory? It doesn't love you back or take photos that you love. Certainly not video, but it would look cool with the pink, the pink one. I bet men might buy the pink one just to show off. Okay, this is a fashion-based release. Tactile feel, retro feel, a fashion accessory camera. 
we've made it. We've made, should we put any improvements in? Should we make a lens for the system? We have two lenses. I've talked to the team about this, and we're in agreement that we don't enjoy making APS-C lenses, so we're not going to make any more, but we could market our new full-frame 28mm Tony 2.8 with the APS-C camera, because it's kind of small. People don't realize being such a shit lens at a Tony 2.8, it can be small. <laughs> so, people might think this is an APS-C lens, even though it's not. We'll never make another one again, basically. How are you doing? It's the perfect system. You sell them full-frame lenses, they realize, oh, oh, the shot's too tight. I can't get both the chihuahua and the woman who used to look hot when she drank baby's blood and ran out and she doesn't look as good anymore. Oh, no, I need a wider lens. What do I do? If I just buy your next full-frame camera, it goes wider automatically? But I already have the lenses? It's perfect. How much more does it cost? Oh! 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 And then they're hooked for life! I'm sure it's a fine camera. I like Nikon in that they are very reliable autofocus. The kit lens had decent stave. It was good enough for vlogging. Slow motion it had custom dials, which you removed. I just realized that. You had all these custom dials in the Z50 and now it's gone. Oh, I'll just switch to slow-mo by a menu dive. I didn't fully get out of the shot. I'm all wet from the puddle. The Z50 was already very basic a couple years ago, and now you're matching it. Like, where's the innovation? What, like, Sony's gonna release that ZV-E10 any second now? I'm not on a list. I wasn't even in the meeting. I've been kicked out. My last meeting, I made fun of them pretty hard for the Sony color science. They never let me back in. They never let me back. That's on me. I'm a bad businessman. I get it. But like, where's the innovation? We're bored. Fuji XS10 has 240 frames per second. You can't match that? How come nobody but Sony and Fuji and almost Panasonic? The GH5S tried to do it, but the Moiré, that was a feature in its own. The lines skipping over each other in love, lines of love. I think they need some actual APS-C lenses to get us believing that they're pretending to make that a system. Like, they're not. They're clearly just making full-frame lenses. You can use them on this body, but they're all too long. If you're a telephoto freak, which I am, then cool. But they're still heavier than they would be if it was an APS-C lens. I didn't switch lenses, by the way. You probably imagined it. Make us something to believe. Because I don't believe, if I was to hug Nikon right now, I imagine they would smell like fear, whiskey, dog meat. I, I'm, I'm escaping that hug. I just, I don't believe that they're going to be in business very long. They're not innovating much. And the color science, in the shade, that's enough to make you a bend in the whole system turns ice cold, although Olympus, every time I move my hands or something changes, they flash. It's a manual focus lens. We're on the Laowa 7.5mm. Olympus choosing 25th of a shutter. And there's your motion blur. That was a Nikon executive. Defeated. So thank you for boring us half to death with a release that does nothing for anybody but at least you're pretending that you care about looks. But Nikon, try to advance the plot line a little bit. You're catching up to old companies who are back here. They've already done it and you're just catching up and we're waiting for their next move. I want 480 frames per second already. Where's that? I have to wait for little weird cameras and phones that do that. Crippled in all its nature. I'm waiting for an electronic variable ND. Where's that? Photographers are morons. They expose... If you expose with aperture, you lose your tonnet. If you expose with shutter, you get jittery shit. If you use ISO, you get noise. It's 
bunch of bullshit. Find another way, asshole. Put an electronic ND in there. And then let me choose the other things for the look. That shouldn't expose. Light is a lie. You're a lie. So Nikon, you suck. Even though there will be affiliate links available for your useless products down below. Even though it's probably not even out yet. That always suckers me. Oh, you make the video, it's like, it's not even on Amazon yet. Thanks for the money in my coin purse, Nikon. Oh, it's empty. Yeah, I do it for the love anyway. So, thank you for buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. What do you think, Nikon? ZFC? Worth it? It's worse than the Z50. It has no custom dials. Debunked. Debunked. Nik oh, I shook everything. Thankfully, Olympus has good stabilization. That ruined the audio. Subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the next one.